what the hell is going on today in the shop? Let's check it out. This video is going to be all over the place. Okay, Rowan, if you're out there watching, here's your car. Here's a video to show you what it looks like underneath. Obviously, your leaf springs look like ass because we're going to get you new leaf springs because they're all busted. You know, the clamp's busted here. You know, the leaf spring itself, I think I showed it in a previous video. One's broken right off, missing there. They're just done. They're sagged out. They're garbage. Your bushings are shot. So I didn't clean those up, but we did. We did give your diff. We had gone through your diff and we gave it a nice paint job now. We had to take the exhaust off the car because look at her underneath, guys. Remember I said I was going to raptor it? There it is. Look at that. Raptored everything. It looks nice. All these are new, welded in, made up. Mike did a beautiful job on that. Back of the rockers are done. Looking good. Like I say, from this point back, we raptored it. Gave the drive shaft a nice cleanup. Check the U joints. Just, just flat blocked it. And of course, we had to take the exhaust off and we did the raptor. So we're re welding it back on here. But of course, all the exhaust is off. We cleaned up, put some high heat silver paint on there. So that looks nice. Just got to hang it up on the back now. There's the new shocks in there. A gas tank I'm picking up tomorrow for it. Looking good. Uh, I've got the drums off here. Wheel cylinders are leaking. I'm going to show you guys how you... Well, I'm not going to show you because I can't do it with the camera in my hand. But when you check a wheel cylinder, that wheel cylinder looks fine, don't it? Always pull the cups back. When you pull the cups back, if you see fluid dripping out, they're leaking. You need to replace them. A lot of people will pull this off. They won't see any fluid. They'll be like, it's fine. It's not. Brake shoes, though, are like new. Look at that. Doesn't need that. Needs wheel cylinders. Started replacing all the brake lines going to the back. And the fuel lines, all new. Beautiful. So when he takes it in for his inspection, everything is brand new underneath here. Looking good. Looking real good there. We've got to start cleaning up wire wheeling up in here. We haven't done this. Got to do all that. Obviously, we've got to clean up the engine, degrease it, see where a couple of the leaks and drips are coming from. Uh, it does need some new sway bar bushings. We've got new front shocks here. So we'll do the shocks, the wheel cylinders, sway bar bushings. Front end so far to me seems pretty tight. We're going to repack and clean up all the bearings. So I think we're okay there. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary so far going on. We'll get it as clean as we can. Like I say, you can only get it so clean when it's all together. There's only so much you can do. So you want to get it perfect while you're ripping the whole bloody thing all apart. But I mean, when they're going to look at the inspection, you can't tell me they expect a bloody car from 1954 to be absolutely mint. The nice thing is it won't be full of dirt, it won't be full of crap, and it will look like it's looked after. And if someone crawls underneath it, they'll see all the new parts. So that is a wonderful thing. Okay. The truck cab. Let's see what's happening here. I mean, you just saw a video on it, so we've been kind of bouncing around. Let's see, Mike's got that piece all finished off there. He's got the inner and outer cab corner done on this side. On this side here, he's rebuilt the inner cab corner. Now we're going to put the outer one on. Once you get that, basically this cab from this point back is done. Then we're going to start putting our floors in. They don't take too, too long because the floors are already here made. He's already made this piece. You can see he's made that. Look at all the design for it. That's to go up and in here. So now he'll take that, trace it onto another one, cut it out, just reverse it, and it will go on the other side. So that's what we're going to get onto next week. Model A still sitting. I haven't played with it this week. I haven't done nothing. That's for Sunday. Now, my brother from another mother. There's his truck. Look at this. Dirty old truck. Look at this damn thing. No, nah, actually, it's pretty clean. I cleaned it up. Gave a little bit of a clean up, or at least I was trying to clean it up, and then the rain came, started raining. So I had to stop. So I didn't get too far with it, but we put some exhaust tips on it for him today. Look at that. You come through, you see the exhaust tip right there, looking nice, chrome all the way. There we go. Went with some nice pencil tips, made it so they're just sticking past just an inch and a half. Don't want to have it out too far. Looking good. Looking real good. Nice. Like I said, I was starting to clean it up and then the rain came. So, but I did get the interior tidied up. You know, swept it all out for him. Dusted it down. 
Cleaned up all the crap form there. Got the engine all cleaned up, wiped down. We'll take a look at that. Just, just didn't finish the outside. Mother Nature didn't want to let me continue. So this is an LS, six liter. Bought the aftermarket valve covers, headers, intake, all that. Had our guy come out here, Bob. Bob is a well-known man. He's the guy for tuning stuff and setting stuff up that's computerized. He knows what to do. He tuned this truck. He said this thing is at around 400 horse. And that's just with after that's just with an intake and some headers. Stock six liter with a good tune in it. 400 horse. We took this thing down the road. We're doing around 50. Punched it and the thing just lit the back wheels up. Just lit them up. So that is a nice little thing. So it should be easier on gas. That was his concern. He wanted to have easier on gas. It definitely should be. It's got the overdrive tranny. Plus he's got an 8.2 diff in the back. It's all been gone through now, thanks to Rod. With an Auburn Posse in the back. With only 331 gears. So this thing down the highway is like sitting at around 1500 RPM. So you can't get much better than that. The thing's not even revving. So that is going to work out beautiful. So he's taking her away on Saturday. I was going to clean it up tomorrow a bit too, but now they're calling for rain. But I'll try and do my best to get it as clean as I can. He's my brother from another mother, so he can clean his old damn truck. Isn't that right, Rich? I know he's watching right now, and he's going to write something in. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's going on there. Um, dry shaft for the crew cab. Got some new U-joints put in there and steady bearing. Going to clean that up, get her all painted up. Got to go pick up the frame. The frame's all blasted, ready to go for that. So that's where we're at. So, that's it. Nice short video, nothing too fancy. You know, just always a good time at old time. What can I tell you? Always laughing, always joking around. It's Friday tomorrow, so probably won't be a video then. I guess you guys are waiting for Sunday fun day. And it's, uh, it's coming soon. Don't know what I'm going to do with the Model A, but I'm going to do something to it. Okay, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends. Tell your friends I want some new subscribers out there. I want some new people. I want to meet your people. You get your people, I'll get my people, and they can have a meeting someday. Okay, see you later.